name is Maile Matumela. I'm a reporter for the Boxberg Advertiser. We are at the Sun Park High School and this is the area which is causing an uproar among the residents of Toki Street. This, is, this area has been constructed lately. It's situated within the premises of the school but it has exits and entrance on, uh, on Totley Street which, which the residents are complaining that it's affecting the values of their properties negatively including that now the, the, the traffic has increased on their streets and also that the street is now not being tidy because of all this new establishment. The school side of story is that this is safe a, a safe place for, their, for the children to be dropped and picked up as you can all see, there's a new waiting area for the kids to wait for, their, for the cars to fetch them. And then there's an exit there, there's another exit here. The advertiser and spoke to what 34 councillor Bruce Reed. He gave his side of story. We tried to comment, uh, to get comment from the school. Unfortunately, the school is referring us to the Houghton Department of Education. We will, in fact, uh, be able to give you uh, their side of story as soon as we get uh, anything from them. For now, now, I'm standing here with uh, what 34 councillor, Mr. Bruce Reed. Um, councillor, what seems to be the problem here? Because we have received complaints uh, from the residents. They are concerned with uh, a number of things, including uh, the value of their properties being lowered, the amount of control that's now being uh, uh, that, that's in the street now, and then they also complaining about the tidiness of the road, which all adds up to uh, impacting negatively on uh, their property values and that they have not been consulted uh, prior to this uh, entrance being erected. Um, what, what's, the, what, what's happening? Like, what, what, what do you know about this school? Okay, well, first, firstly, I'm not representing the school. I'm here to represent all residents, which include the residents of Totley Road, Prester Road, and Sornskane Road, and all sides of the school. Secondly, it was brought to my attention that the school was going to be building this waiting area because the school has grown in the last few years from a thousand pupils to nearly a thousand four hundred pupils. The access facility at the top there was not adequate enough to hold the number of cars. So the school decided to build this access facility here. I myself am not the engineer and work for the roads department and was not 100% sure of what documents and process had to be followed. When I was called by the residents of Totley Road to say they weren't happy about the number of cars here, firstly it was at the stage when the school was still building the waiting area, so the parents were picking up the kids here but there was no space for the cars to park inside. So all the cars were parking on both sides of the road. Now that they've opened this waiting area, that has relieved that situation, that it is not just all the cars parking on both sides of the road now, so the residents can get in and out. However, the school hasn't done the public participation process and submitted the road um, impact study to the council. The council, I, I went to the roads department to find out exactly what had to be done and they informed me that this process has to be finalised before it can be approved. So the, the school, to my best of knowledge, is busy in the process of having the roads impact study done, at which stage they're going to submit all the documentations to the roads department. And I must just tell you, there's no standard format of what has to be submitted. It is basically a letter with the study. The roads department have been out to have a look at the situation and see what's going on. Once they're happy that the impact study has been done and it has been submitted, then it has to go for public participation. Then the residents of Totley Road can voice their opinion on what they want to say and the residents of all other sides of the school. I have I ever raised the issue with the school that I don't think is correct that the buses will be allowed in this road and I think that the roads department also identified that as one of their issues. So somehow the school is going to have to come up with a plan where it splits the pupils that half perhaps go out to the old gate and a portion come out at this gate to alleviate the stress.